Here we go. Oh, God. Eh. I clicked the thing. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't want the chat, too. God. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Huh. It's okay, Dylon. We're just, all here together. I'll just put my hand in front of the screen so I can't see it. Ladies what are we doing, you guys? What is this? Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Boys and girls. Yeah. The PlayStation 5 has been revealed. It's a very strange shape. I don't think I have room for it on my on my dresser. There are many amorphous blobs that could <laughs> be the PS5 shape, but there will only be one. There's there three. Will only be there's one. four PlayStation shapes. Oh god. As, as and today, we're here to find out which one is the real one. <laughs> okay, it's first, a game show. First things first. Is it an X yeah. or is it a cross? Oh it's god, all it's a cross. Of the above. Where do you lie on Me that personally, I, so because it's a Japanese console, I yeah. I think it's a cross. Yes. Yeah. It's. But uh, yeah, to each their own. It's a kiss for me. I'm not going to begrudge anyone who wants to give me some XOXOs. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, it, it So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's... as we alluded to moments ago, this is a replay of the PS5 reveal stream. Woo! And Dylon, Murph, and I are here today uh, to basically chat over it and give you some of our impressions and, and, and first looks. Talk yeah. about our favorite shapes. I, hey! I know that one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think I still have one of those somewhere around here. Oh, dude. I got a tiny one. No. Yeah, me too. Oh, you got one of the PS minis? Yeah. And I have the yellow stained one, too. <laughs> wow. I, oh, I know that guy. So it looks like we're going to start off with a little Whoa. replay of some of the hits. Nah, some, some of the, of the greatest. Like the triple A's. I got to turn this yeah. down. This is way too loud. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I, I just realized people, this is going to your, your channel, Tim? Yes. People probably don't know who I am. Oh, hi, Murph. Ah. <laughs> hey, Final Fantasy, I know that one. We uh, have been working on a little side series for so long with our friend Murph that uh, kind of forgot that haven't really introduced him on the channel. So, yes, welcome yeah. to our friend Murph. Hello, Murph. Hi. Uh, You're a person. A good one. Uh, I, I, I try. I, yeah. It shows. <laughs> PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> PlayStation. It try. I, I try. It shows. So let's start off with while we're getting a little bit of a recap on some of the older games. Dylan, do you have a PS4? Uh, I do have a PS4. It's great. I play Final yeah. Fantasy VII Remake for your channel on it. <laughs> I, you know, some people might be watching the, our channel for the first time. Yeah. You don't have to be such a smart ass about it. No, no, I'm just kidding. They can click the link you, that you'll put here. Will you be nice to me? <laughs> um, Please I, clap. <laughs> I signed some paperwork said I had to, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You legally have to. Your check's in the mail. Oh, shit. It can be voided. <laughs> this hot, hot new game, GTA. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, it, this is like the fourth console that has had GTA 5 specifically as its launch title. <laughs> fourth generation. Yeah. <laughs> And what about you, Murph? Do you have a what? What is your history with PlayStation? I had a PlayStation One, two. Uh, yeah, we talked about the mini a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've had them all. Um, on the I think, I think I have two. Yeah. The only one I've I've had most of them. I did not get the PS3. Okay. That was, that was, the that was a good that I skipped. It's worth it for Infamous alone. Champagne. No, that's completely fair. I ended up. Uh, I, I was much more of a. Oh, what was the other one? Prototype. Yeah, Prototype. Oh, that game was great. Yeah, I played Prototype instead of Infamous, but uh, did again. I played that on my PS3 as well. <laughs> exactly. That one was not the exclusive title. No, no. And I, I remember Resistance. Resistance Fall of Man. That was a great game that was PS3 exclusive. I think that was and the launch launched, title. Exactly, yeah. 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 It came with my PlayStation. I was like, okay. There's eventually <laughs> it was worth the free. Three of them. But it seems like PS5 will be launching with a revamped and expanded and remastered version of GTA V. That has free GTA, GTA Online free at launch. Cool. Uh, didn't we just buy GTA 4? Five? Yeah. Well, I, five, I five, bought yes. it for you guys. And it's got but. $1 million in GTA cash every goddamn month between now and when GTA 5, PS5, launches. Uh, launches. Launchers. Yeah. Just, do you want, you want some salt and lemon, lemon juice to rub in that wound there, Sony? <laughs> if it makes you feel dicks. any better, Murph, I also bought it on PS3, like... And then it immediately launched on PS4, and then yeah. nobody played with me on PS3. So, and wasn't it recently free on the Epic Store? Yes, like yes. right after we bought it. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. All the nightmare coming back to me. So I want to bring something up. Yes, is it this guy? I want to bring something up right now. And his affiliation with Gordon Ramsay. Yes, uh, <laughs> and also his affiliation with real life. 
Oh, because I I have a theory a yep. that these people are not real people. At least they've the with the news some sort of rendering going on. I think that they are PS5 people. Since we began Holy shit. Or at least some of them. You're, are you blowing my mind within the first few minutes? Because... Look at it. To show you it, it really look. Zoom. Give me that zoom. Give me that hard <laughs> zoom. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, right in his nose. Oh, God, you can see the hairs. There's something else going on here besides a man, a light, and a camera. Mm. As someone who does this for a living, I don't know what it is. I think it might just be maybe the maybe maybe it's a weird lens and light combo. But uh, there's something funky going on that makes this look rendered. Because you bring it up, my brain's noticing it. and Not real. I think it. what it yeah. is, it's kind of like the L.A. Noir thing where it's like the faces look really detailed and they move really lifelike, but the clothes it, don't. Are you, have the you, shirt looked kind of funny you, there. Have you seen L.A. Noir recently? It's been a we, long time. <laughs> it's been we a fooled long time. ourselves back then. That wasn't very good. <laughs> Could you tell no, when that guy was lying to you? <laughs> We're going to have to find out. Yeah. Also, we got a yeah. game reveal. By the way, we do. Uh, this is a big oh one. Oh my God! <laughs> this is a big one. Oh my God! This is a big one. Oh my God, is this is this a sequel? Is this DLC? Yes. Is this, what it's is this? A sequel? sequel. Oh, fuck yes. Wait. <laughs> oh, Let's do this one more oh. time, baby. Do, do we want to mention that me and Tim have seen this? I have not. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Dylon's blind watch. Murph and I have, have watched this live. My but, mouth uh, is is on the ground. My jaw, whatever they call it these days. being item number two, this is, a, this is a great way to start off. I wish that they had led with this and then gone into GTA V. But um, Rocks are uh, this made me excited. It's Rock not even just a sequel. It's Miles Morales. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, it oh, is. Oh, God, okay. We're passing on to Miles Morales now. I, like, uh, and I am super happy about that. See, this, I, this, looks, this is I the one. in my pants. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is the one where I started going way to goddamn second here. Because look at the hair. How it's yeah. not, not wafting. Yeah. Now, that being said, they are amazing renders. It, it, it like, almost looks like deep fake. We are finally on this side of the Uncanny Valley. I don't want to be my, here. My brain, <laughs> is, my brain is not offended by that like some of the Remedy Ugh. stuff that Dylan and I have played recently. Oh, God. Don't even get me started. Watch this so, next game is by oh. Remedy. Oh, are you talking now about... we got a car game. Oh. Uh, hey, are, are, are there y'all into the Vroom Vrooms? Murph, you have a racing wheel. Yes, I do. I recently oh, purchased I, one, so you know it's it's legit. <laughs> do you also have a shifter and gas and gas and brakes? I have the gas and brakes. The shifter yeah. is still out of stock everywhere. Do you have oh. the NOS? The, the what? The NOS is that is NOS a, a car thing? I don't know. It's no. not it's turbo boost. Um, ni nitros. Nitrous. 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 Would be with what NOS stands for. I think uh, and NOS. And, and and it's not a singular NA. Nah. It's, <laughs> it's an initialism in OS. Yeah, I think, Welcome to science. I think that Welcome, was a, thank you. an actual, like, I think it probably still is an actual nitri like nitrous oxide booster thing for racing. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. like, it's, it's so funny that I've been recording shit with Dylan now so long that not only do I know what he got wrong, but I also know what he actually meant. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, buddy. Oh, it's GT Town. What yeah. the fuck is this so, Facebook game looking garbage? I, basically, exactly that. It's it's it's, it's not it's a, my cup of tea, but it looks pretty good. It's oh look, there's bill. the slot to insert your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Uh, gameplay, at least. Yeah, like it it looks good. Like there, I like I, the rear cam. I think Kia I did wonder, that a few years ago. Because they did not talk about any sort of VR anything oh let's go ahead and go ahead and break that off we, now we do know um, that they are they do have a new vr headset coming they have confirmed that they just right have so it makes me wonder where the games like this are going to be inbuilt with that because yeah. this would be a perfect game to do vr with i think so but you wouldn't be able to use a racing wheel because your like hands wouldn't move well, so if that would the be controller the controller really actually mm, spoilers you i can mean use the, the controller for it Okay, okay, I was gonna say, because the controller, this does look like a controller in his hand. 
it right. kind of actually does. I did not yeah. think about that. That does look like a PlayStation it's the same shape, right? Yeah. That's what racing I mean, it's steering wheels look like. Though, so. Correct. So. Are they actually I have no idea. steering wheel? <laughs> but it doesn't hurt that it really resembles, at yeah. the very least, an Xbox controller. But with those two sticks right in the middle there, I'm seeing PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. The Werther's Originals. Yeah, they're not offset. They're not. <laughs> his eyes aren't cattywampus. I yeah. Gran Turismo. Yeah. Wow, they're on seven already. Yes. Almost to have the you guys, show. Have you guys played a, a GT? No. Uh, I've played no? many demos. <gasps> I played a lot oh, of this is old an... ones. Oh, shit. Wait, is this the thing? Drive the was thing? another game I played as a kid. Or is this not the thing? No. That's some old PlayStation 4. This is, well, this is a pretty big thing. Is this Crash oh, Bandicoot? Yeah. Shit. D -d -d is this Crash? No way. Another it's one? It's better. Yeah, way. Oh, fuck, yeah. Is this a, another reboot remake, or is this, like... It looks like... Like they're um, continuing that last game they made? Just keep watching. You'll see. Okay. Ooh. Another credit card slot for microtransactions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so this makes my... This number two. If you're keeping uh -oh. score at home of games that I got super hype about, this was number two. And we don't count Grand Theft Auto V, because it's, like, six, seven, eight years old. Correct. Well, it was no, on the PS3, it was, so... It, it, it was the Spooder Man. Fuck, it is seven years old. Yeah, seriously, God right? Wow, holy crap. And, no, I and, definitely thought- And thank you, Tim. I th <laughs> I was trying to clarify that it wasn't included in the- You mean out of new games? Yes. Yes, okay, okay. And I wasn't also, insinuating I like you were not 5. excited. That's also fair. <laughs> uh, but, but if they had done something like use that footage of GTA V to advertise the fact that they were making six, yeah, something I might have like been that. a little bit more excited, but it was literally just, hey, we're doing five again, again, again. Are we excited about the Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions shit that's happening right now? I just need alternate ratchets. Uh, yes. No comment. They, I was going to say they probably made that game at yes, some point. Yes, no, this is great. I love going between worlds and stuff. That's oh always my a great God. place. And that's showing off the new characters. SSD like architecture. Like, oh, no load yeah. times? Well, this is... And ray tracing. Yes. Fuck yes. Wait, the oh, PS5 oh, is oh, ray oh, tracing? Oh, shh, shh, yes. Shh, 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 shh. Hell yeah, I'm in. Shh. Oh, no. Who? <laughs> oh. oh, great. Uh, is her name I'm Hatchet? I'm so hype. I'm so hype. What What's her name gonna be though? Bratchet. Bratchet. Okay, yeah. so Hatchet was not good. Yeah. No, you're not. You're a computer runder. <laughs> I know. It's so uncanny. But I would like, say shut so your mouth, but I know thing. you can't. <laughs> There's a really good chance that they recorded these live and in color, and then laid a layer of rendering over it. You know what I mean? Just to touch it up, or and, yeah, and 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 rendered it out using the PS5 engine. That's a way that they could have done that, so that Ooh. it looks rendered, but it's kind of Plus, based off of, and they also had a really long time to make this you know so that's like true that's true it could just be using new technology new architecture to make live action into computer generated graphics which is a great use uh-huh something that games like horizon zero dawn with ashley birch could use hand over fist you know uh, all the until dawn games and all their actors you know oh those were great definitely a lot of uses for that technology however i am telling you that's not a real human being we're looking at right now. <laughs> so you said anyway. you've seen this, so I don't. I kind of don't want to ask questions, but I want to, so it's as real as possible from my point of view. Yeah, yeah. just ask questions because and we'll answer. Ask questions. We'll do our best. Yeah. A random guess that I have is like some fancy because you you were saying that they're uh, releasing a new PSVR probably, probably maybe. Yeah. Um, if it's something to do with the camera and how it can record you and render you into the game or something, I don't know. Like that would be insane. Yeah, right. Like the like the old sports games used to do. Exactly. Oh god. Like Tony Hawk, putting your and face the, on that. I mean, that, this does come boy. with a 3D camera. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That is actually a that is actually a really great point. This does come with a 3D goddamn. I mean, camera. like, why wouldn't you try it to could do that totally for your next step? picture your entire face and put you in the game? Oh my god, did you just crack the code? I think I did, and because uh, they don't. I'll, I'll go and tell you. They don't tell yeah. you. You don't okay. find out. Good, good, good. That means we can speculate together. Yeah, totally. So uh, that is actually, like, if we just called that right now, yeah, I will be impressed with us. Oh, uh, you mean with me. I'm just kidding. Yeah. If this is being used in a highlight or a news article, I'm sorry. You know, I'm not an asshole, I promise. Aren't we all in this together? 
This is I, true. I could see them like, like never calling attention to that and continuing to do this format for you know, the rest of summer. And then ah. the last video, and the, oh, by the way, here's these people were made with this 3D camera. Yeah. Oh, when they go to that the was so room. cool. When they're ready to reveal it. Yeah. In that way. Also, I love this Bioshock Infinite portal shit. Yeah, I was going to say, this is fucking awesome. There's always yeah. a gun, a Lombax, and a robot. Yeah. <laughs> I get Fix it. Fix and match them. Oh, man. Yeah, how do we feel about like the gameplay we're seeing here? Have you guys played Ratchet & Clank before? Yes. I was a, I was a Jack and Daxter guy. I, I mean, so. the two are one of the same, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Well. So I feel like I can at least say this looks really fun. They're different, but similar. Yes. That remake. Like, especially... Excited. Especially by the time you got to Jack and Daxter 2 or 3. Yeah, no they, kidding. And added guns, they really started to become a lot similar. Uh, the remake they put out a few years ago was very good. It yeah. Was it was good. I bought it and then I never played it. It's very good. You it came out it. for free on PS Plus and then I got upset. Mm. Fell right. into that trap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you. you... <gasps> Ooh. I know them. Squenix. I think yeah. so. I always love when that logo comes up. Like I know that they they so they have some hits and boy do they have some strikeouts. But like hey. <laughs> there's just something about seeing that Squeenix logo that makes you go, "Oh man, this is going to be good." Exactly. This is going to be good. You know what they should do? What? what? They should remake Vagrant Story as a Souls like. Ooh. I never played that game, but yes. Just for the last part because I'm a <laughs> simp. See, this, oh, is this reminds me. Is this the thing that we saw, Tim? I was just going to say, this reminds me a lot of the Unreal demo that we saw the, for yeah. the Unreal 5 engine. Uh, but no, it is not that. This it's, is something else. Aha, uh -huh, Project and Athia? Athia? I'm guessing this is probably a temporary name. Oh, yeah. Anything, Anything with Project in it. Exactly so. You took the words right out of my mouth, my friend. Except for Hydru or, uh, Hyrule Warriors, I think. Design, that designed exclusively that for, for PS5. That doesn't mean... I want to yeah. know what that means. Design does not mean exclusive. It means timed like exclusive. Exclusive. Like we built it to run on the PS5, then we're going to make it again to run on yeah. the PC. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a robot? Is that a Wally? Uh, no, it's Annapurna. Of course. Blue 12. Sorry. That's a, that's Jeff. Blue <gasps> uh, I'd be down for some robo boxing, honestly. They're toy boxing on humans. that Clubhouse Games. Oh, yeah, that's true. I played a, a round of that. Good game. That didn't go on sale, though. No. Unfortunately. It was like somebody took Ready to Rumble Boxing and slapped robots over it. Mm -hmm. Where's the real steel faces. game we've all been asking for? Oh, God. No. <laughs> that was on 360. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Very no. memorable game. I played that. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> At least someone played it and remembered it. That one was like Fight Night with robot skins over it, <laughs> which was even worse. At least Ready to Rumble was actually kind of an interesting boxing game. Pacific Rim game all the way. Yeah. Oh, kitty. Yeah, do you just play as a cat in this robo world? Yeah. I really hope so. Annapurna is... They, they do good stuff. It's a brand stuff. of cat food, right? <laughs> Annapurna. Is it? It might be. No. <laughs> no it's, that's Purina. Annapurina. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, oh, so cute. So cute. Okay, it's called Stray. Stray. So I'm guessing you do play as the cat. That's so cute. I'm like tearing up. He looks kind of like chest. But you'll notice, I mean, that's definitely a world where there aren't living things, or at least many living things anymore. So that's what's fine. going on there? You know, rip humans, they're all gone. You didn't see any squirrels or rats or anything like that. Just this Stray cat? Yeah. Just the two Got, cutest things, not I love humanoid like that. robots that was number three. and cats. That was number three. Yeah? Yeah. That'll definitely come to PC. Oh, oh agreed. Yeah. Okay. And I'm guessing a lot of these will end up coming to PC. I think the if console exclusivity it, anyone, still yeah. happens, but PC to console exclusivity happens way less these days. It's, it's different. Yeah, it's different for sure. Although they, it happens way more often with PlayStation. So like yeah. Final Fantasy 15. Whoa, the controller! Sorry, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. No, it is really pretty. It. Uh, it okay. reminds me a lot of the boomerang. You look, but not quite if, as. If you look oh, at the black part, one? it looks like Totoro. 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 No. Uh, 
Um, oh, I see that. I see that. It looks like... Ooh, Type C. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. It looks like uh, the uniforms they wore in Mass Effect 2. Uh, it has motion controls in it. Yay. Is I don't know if you caught that. So the controller has motion controls I mean, in it, which means that a oh, driving game could potentially use the controller just as the steering wheel. But isn't it just light based like uh or like six axis type technology uh, making games like but yeah about these depends on how good it is between yeah. the artistic right. vision and, and, and technical nobody vision. used it in the dual shock the only could be uh, like infamous that. second son used it for the tagging mini game and i don't think anybody else it's used it a ton of <laughs> also i think used it for uh flying vehicles I think. oh layer so forgot about layer ps5 will present Paradigm Look at this guy's hair. Players will come to expect from oh. <laughs> so there's a reason why what they're saying. There, there's a reason why they're cutting off at the hair. Gameplay uh -huh. I think and it's so you can't tell that it's not moving. <laughs> you really should. Please take a look at this new franchise for what was uh, coming. These for are focus group speeches. I, I tend to ignore it. What they're yeah. saying. Oh yeah, no, you totally can. I mean, they're either introducing a game you're about to see and are really excited about anyway, or are talking about business stuff that isn't yeah. really all that important. How smart? Scientifically, this is the best business speech I can give. Mm-hmm. Did I you love, not say marquee? I love some house mark. I, I believe it is house mark. They're in. Uh, house mark. Are they a Austin studio? I'm not sure. I have not. I honestly have not heard of them. Maybe if they're from. Oh, they're Finnish. Never mind. Ah, uh, I was close. It, yeah, uh, Austin, so close. Rezo Gun, remember that game? That's a game. I heard of that one. They did Outland. Uh, what else? Do we have guesses, by the way? Is this all new IP? This is a new yes. IP. This is new IP. Yes, it looks really cool. Right. It does. Uh, and it so this actually marks the start of a trend of a whole buttload of games that are uh, the whole live die repeat syndrome. Yeah. Groundhog Day. I There's, saw it. <laughs> I mean, now. I mean, you love these games. Yeah, it's, if you want a, a narrative reason for your roguelike. This world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally that. Infecting my mind. Oh shit! How many roguelikes have we played? Unless, Nine unless years. this is like super linear and like it's important to the story. Which the cool. I, I, would, I would play that. But. Yeah, I mean, purposeful deaths are still good if you could do them on purpose uh, properly. You know. And not you just can still do kind of the... scripted deaths in that way and still have it be shocking. And not just have a prepare to die achievement for every new Dark Souls game. Right. Although this does look like Dark Souls with guns. And to keep looking for I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, like, well, Bloodborne like, is Dark Souls with guns, but space guns <laughs> this time. <laughs> yeah, this is space lasers. Okay, yeah, Dark Souls with lasers. How about that? With lasers, yes. Yeah. Uh, and it also reminds me a lot of Death Stranding. Yeah, in her that, outfit, the, in the grossness yes. of the world, in the EDA suit. Yes. Yes. Now, if only she had an attached baby. Yeah, no kidding. Where's Guillermo del Toro when you need him? Like attached at the umbilical cord. Eh, uh, wherever. No, I'm not picky. I do births on the outside now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that caught me. I just pictured it so perfectly. <laughs> it's all about the camera zooms in your head. They make uh, me funny. That made me laugh. Oh. This yeah, game's going to be great. Cute AF. Oh, is don't hit a, it too hard. Is this a Winnie the Pooh WrestleMania? It's a, ma it's a mascot okay. simulator. Oh, shit. It's Sackboy! Hey, I know that the guy! The mascot that just won't oh. die. Oh, I knew Sackboy Adventure. Yeah. No planets here. They made a 3D platform, an actual 3D platform. Finally. Fuck yeah, you see? Yeah, a real I did game. like the 2.5D, I'm not gonna lie. And it was a really cool level design tool, but yeah. this is awesome. Finally. Yes. Eat your heart out, you I, I, I appreciate <laughs> Yeah, really. I appreciate the fact that they are just making an actual game with a character that people do like. Like, yeah. Also, I, I, I make this, I make fun of those games, but they are good. If you know how to make the levels, if you know how to work yeah. them, or just prefer to download your own levels and don't, never worry about making them like I usually did, they're good. I'll but they Mario just Maker. weren't as great as they could be if you actually get game designers in there to make actual levels. And oh, yeah, yeah. also, this song they used is a bop. Sure, let me turn it on. Oh yeah, true. Go, it slaps pretty hard. Go team. They yes. they had a, a 
song on the original game's uh, soundtrack, I believe. Also, I'm surprised that this second character isn't a little bit more Simple. less. Yeah. It hurts. Like, I think it's just to show off the customization. Probably. I mean, literally, all they would have to do is like a slightly different color sack person. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it. I think with all those games, the point was you could make your sack person look like anything. Right. Like, you could use stage decorations to okay. attach like, to your sack yeah, person. Yeah. So. Somebody, <clears throat> they did a uh, Metal Gear Solid like pack. Yeah, the expansion packs. Yeah, I remember buying those. And then somebody just made Metal Gear Solid 1. Yep. An approximation of it in Little Big Planet. It was, it very, was good. very strange, but surprisingly hmm. good. Hmm. Uh, good times. Squish I spent Planet. a lot of time with the original. Uh, Me Metal Gear Squish. Uh, not being made by, by a Media Molecule. Should yes, know. and they made hmm. dreams. But this, the, the Little Big Planet, the, this one we just saw is not, not uh, Media Not being molecule. made by the creators. Well, because I feel like they're so invested in making a creation engine. Like they made Dreams, they made the original editor in Little Big Planet, and kept kept expanding on it. So I feel True. like that's what they prefer to do. The next thing I, I want from Dreams is for them to say, "Okay, here, it's on PC too now." I was gonna say mouse and keyboard support, please. Yeah. <laughs> so this game looks pretty neat. Uh, it, it reminds me a lot of Rocket League, just without you know the game. I thought this was a Fortnite expansion, and I'm not even making it. <laughs> is this not like some kind of? No. It, no, it's it's a demolition derby. Oh. Like, yeah, you get to crash each other's cars up, and they look like they move about as good as Rocket League cars. I was gonna you know, say it looks tight very forceful. And, yeah. And then yeah, and you exactly. Can, they can feel get out. Type of, and exactly, you run around and do other stuff. I think I think yeah. you get out and you either need to find a new vehicle or and then you can like jump on them and, and kill. Oh, you can like sabotage right. on foot. That's yeah. kind of cool. And just become the last person standing, whether it be in four wheels or two legs. Or, Fuck, or you have this to survive long okay. enough to to get your car back. I'm yeah, I'm not someone like that, that ever got into Rocket League, but I've had so many people tell me to. It's and this kind of looks like something I could invest some time into. Right. Like I'm not super huge into sports game stuff. Me but neither. But I liked uh, what was the one uh, the PlayStation game that was uh, Car Carnage. Um, uh, uh, oh, Sweet Tooth. Um, uh, 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 Twisted Metal. Thank you. This looks like that mixed with Rocket League, and I am rather in. Uh, and Fortnite, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean the kid. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can definitely see the 2020 all over it. I want to make money from toy sales. Fuck Hello, the games. Boy. My name is Josh Freer. <laughs> this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab. Small we were created in a lab. I mean, by our mother. <laughs> and we're very excited today to share with now, you this is about the time where I started proposing that perhaps the they're not, in fact, using all computer-generated people. Mm -hmm. That they included so some it. real people yeah. to throw people off and see whether people could tell the difference. Oh, it's just the. So you don't think it's still like a layer on top of? No, I went full person? tinfoil hat that's at what this I point. Think. Like I because it's so hard to tell. It's so hard <laughs> to tell. Yes. There's, or, there's like the guess that I want, or, which is the 3D camera, yeah. and then there's the guess that I think, which is real people with 3D layers on top. I yes. think you're totally, I think you nailed that the first time. Or also, these are adorable. Or their oh, Lumetri shit. filter screwed up the render, and that's why their mouths are weird. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it, too. Is this uh, Cami? Is that the game? No, they made a, uh, they made a DreamWorks movie, cameo, movie cameo. into a game. No, it is not Cameo, the Cameo. one where you could switch forms and stuff. That was a Microsoft game, so that's, there's no yeah. way it would be PlayStation. It's, that's that's a rare game, actually. So. <clears throat> oh, rare, yeah. yeah. It, it, who's owned by Microsoft? Yes. That, that was that was the game right before they were bought, I believe. Yeah. Wasn't that the 360 the launch title? Yes. That's very, that a very good game, in my opinion. But. I, th I thought it was criminally underrated because it looked cutesy, you know? I think it would do better if it was released now. I never played it, and I love cutesy shit, so I agree with that. Like, I think if it was, if it had 2020 engines and gameplay stuff, you know, uh, a remaster uh, of that kind of game would actually do very well now. I think. This, I do like form changing games. That's this this uh, this game makes me think somebody really likes DreamWorks and Pikmin. Yes. Oh, I yes. love Pikmin and DreamWorks. This is perfect. Y'all hear a Shrek? <laughs> I was gonna say uh, earlier, you said this is a DreamWorks or a Pixar game, Pixar movie made wow. a game. That was a goof, I assume. It looks more more DreamWorks than. I, yeah, I would say DreamWorks so too. It looks like Alita Battle Angel. Is, is that what it's called? Uh, oh god, yeah. Alita. That, that movie exists. 
I haven't yeah. seen it yet. I don't know anything about it, so. But they, it's called Kenna. So you Kenna. were you were very close. That's why I was wondering how how you figured that out. I was like, oh, wait a minute. And he's like, no, not quite. <laughs> Once again, I am completely unspoiled on everything. Yeah. Um, the controller, yeah. I, thought, well, not I thought everything. I saw something similar to that, but it looked like a... Uh, I thought it was fake when I saw it online. The controller? Yeah, but I only saw yeah. one still, and I was like, I'm not looking. Yeah. My only concern with the controller was... Oh. The buttons, if they're low or low, like or low profile or not. For a sign? I, don't I hope they are. They didn't look like it. To do that thing I, what's funny is I actually prefer them not to be. Um, I'm kind of the dinosaur, Sometimes pardon the pun, like of the group <laughs> in that like I actually don't like new phones and how you don't have buttons because I, I used to be able to type without looking, you know? I, I yeah. used to have that button in the middle with the raised knob that told me where my finger was and was able to all I wanted to and now I can't do that with a screen because if I'm one letter off I'll never know are you seeing this Dylan? I am seeing this yeah lots of furry shit going on it's pterodactable ha 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 it's like somebody took monster prom and made it with dinosaurs yeah I can see that I mean don't get me wrong I love that this exists this or, is, I want you to realize this. It looks this kinda is, like Persona. This is right smack dab in the middle of a major company's major presentation of their brand new console. That's just such a and great like, name. Yeah. This is huge. Oh, that's fucking This is awesome. a big deal. I'm glad that a game like this exists and gets made. However. End of an era. That's amazing. Because they're all going to die from the meteor. Yes. A la Final Fantasy VII. And you want to get laid before you die of the meteor. I mean, yeah. I mean, That's if you I were the last on dinosaur Tinder. on Earth, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here to share with you... Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Odd World. <laughs> story, where rescuing is rewarding, uh, failure is I've heard this such was good things about Odd World, but I never heard them. I want you to know, what's coming up right now is number four. Yeah. Number four, okay. Lauren, Lauren Lanning is a... He needs to... He makes... Doesn't make enough games. I agree. In my opinion. But like the uh, the the Oddworld people are some of my favorite people on the planet, and I will go. I on heard they're really really funny games. I just never experienced them yet. They they're amazing. I I was actually going to do at one time a speed run with some of the devs, but uh, unfortunately things got away from us, and they got to uh, making the remake, and um, then they got to making Soul this game. I almost said it. I'm excited. Because the Odyssey games were originally supposed to be a, a seven-game series. Really? Yeah. A septilogy? And they made two. <laughs> oh, they only and made two of them. They only made two. And then they made this Stranger's Wrath. And, and Which yeah. are tertiarily associated with the Oddworld games, but they are not of the Odyssey series, the, oh. the, the main series. Same universe, just... Yes. Yeah. So there, I mean, this would be game number three. And what's funny is they have the story for all seven games. Really? They just haven't made them because yeah. unfortunately Aww. they weren't making any money for a long time and it looked like Oddworld was going to go under. Um, and then they remade Abe's Odyssey and it went over like gangbusters. Abe's Odyssey new and tasty, by the way, you can get for pretty cheap and it's amazing. It's I mean, it sounds cool. One I know nothing for about one. the gameplay, but is it all like this, or is this very different? Yeah. yeah they're, uh, no, they're, they're just like this. They're side-scrolling puzzle games. Yeah. All, uh, like, flashback. Whoa. And out of this world. Yeah. That looked so freaking serious for what I've heard about this game. Oh, from they this it's, don't start that way. Huh. But they do. Like, they do start that way. It's just that the character of Abe is kind of gleefully dumb at the beginning. Yeah, so yeah. it's not taken as seriously. But the shit that's happening is actually really fucked up from square one. Right. It's like I heard there's some there's some murder in there. It's like, oh, capitalism and slavery. Like, wait, here's, here's, the, here's the end point of all that. That's basically yeah, what the game is. A hundred percent. Good lessons to learn, then. Yes. Yeah. No, they're, and they're great games. And basically, New and Tasty was a one-for-one -one remake of the original game, just with 2018 graphics. And it's uh -huh. mwah, beautiful. Uh -huh. Chef's kiss. All over Chef's the place. Chef's kiss. And, and in part seven, will you get to it, attack and dethrone God? I sincerely I hope, so. hope so. Or at least a, a chase scene in a vehicle, a hovercraft of some kind. Uh, I'm so excited for this game. On. I could go on about Oddworld games forever, but this one is number five. So uh, 
Is I'm going to shut up is now. Is this another Spider-Man? What was that? Sir? This was technically revealed oh last year. Oh my god. Fight. Yeah, but I don't when look at gaming news, people. Murph. This is the first thing I've looked at in years. Oh my god. It's you know we're going to have to play this, right? Is this new IP? Yes. I think yes. Oh, oh my god. Okay. This is what Shinji, so, Shinji Mikami did after Evil Within 2. Oh, yes. fuck yeah. Look at those things. Those Oni masks. It that, looks like Fatal Frame mixed with Ninja Ghost. Mixed with Prey. Beat up, beat em ups. Yeah. Is this, just, is this just Ninja Constantine? I think so. Cool. I hope so. That sounds amazing. Why has <laughs> nobody done that before? Terrifying. I hope you guys have a blast somebody, playing this game. Somebody call Matt Ryan right now. <laughs> somebody give me Matt Ryan on the phone right now. Face. She has no face. I get it. I get it. Uh, your fears. Yeah, no. oh, yeah, no. Ah, they tricked you. Ah, bastards. Face. Yeah, that looks They don't dope. have any. Ghostwire. Tokyo. Tokyo. You guys said that at the same time, and it sounded like a, a reverb effect in my ears. <laughs> yeah, I did it low and slow. You got to edit that together, Tim. Make a note. <laughs> Me? I, I ain't doing that yeah. shit. I'm going to edit it. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Making me do work all the time. Uh -huh. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, that's from something. That's Yeah, that's one of those toothpick things that where you can only move two and make it look like a fish going in the opposite oh, direction. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Wait, these aren't fish. These are people. This is Journey. Oh, this is Journey. No, it's not. Of course. I'm getting, like, path... When I first saw this, this I got, like, pathologic awesome. vibes from it. Yeah, totally. 100%. But it's a... Super Brothers. Uh, what have they made? Uh, Sword and Sorcery. Ah, uh, 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 yes, Pixel. yeah, you told me about that. It's a very good game. That was that Isn't that the... Is that the VR one? No. What's like the VR one? Like type game. I think that's also called Sword and Sorcery. Or oh, okay, it's just different. Okay. Oh. Space. They did Oblivion, that's a game they people did like. Below. Dreams, that's a game people like. Below that sounds familiar. What that does, does sound, sound it was, very. It familiar. was like announced at the be like beginning of this current generation, and finally came oh, out okay. in 2018. Oh yes, yes, it's a, yes. It's yes. the year zero. Oh my god. I've no. Is this Kerbal Space Program. Oh god. Is this the sequel? Is this Kerbal Two? That spaceship is traveling incredibly slowly. If it's only yeah, able damn. to go that far every year. Damn. <laughs> I. My initial idea was my my initial impression was oh. So the Sword and Sorcery guys made a No Man's Sky. Yeah, uh, which is exactly what it looks like to me. Yeah. It's, well, I, I doubt it's like pre like proc gen, but mm -hmm. if they made like a bespoke like here's like 400 planets or something. Or like really, a Mass Effect. Really simple. Like, if you yeah. make it simple, you can go. All right, here's a bunch of like full planets. I don't want simple. I want full irrigation systems. Was that Jetita? Oh, you, you want like you want fluids and dynamics and stuff? Yes. I have a yes. game we need to play. It's called Satisfactory. <laughs> Is oh, it's not the pipe game. I was Nokia? just thinking about the pipe game. <laughs> no, we're gonna go hacking in Bioshock. Oh, I've done that one. I'm finally getting my nephew into playing those kind of games. He's like 13, so he's oh, right at perfect. the perfect age for that. Where, yeah, where you're not, the anxiety has taken hold and. The first parts of Bioshock. Don't, exactly. Don't, like, no, he doesn't quite get the the capitalism parts yeah. yet, but yeah, the gameplay good. and the pretty colors and covering people in bees, he loves that uh, stuff. When I was thirteen, the would you kindly stuff wouldn't have landed with me. No, totally not. So he's at the perfect age to get started playing games that aren't Call of Duty, but kind of have some Call of Duty like stuff. So it's got some guns and it's got some shooty stuff, but then he also yeah. gets to cover things in bees and like who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> so that's been the thing that's getting him Tim, to stick around. Look at me now. Vanquish. It, this this looked like another Dark Souls game to me at first. Right. Uh, it does to me still. It, it looks like uh, if somebody. God, like, it looks like in, uh, Infinity Blade crossed with yep. uh, God of War. Yeah. 
You know, I did like a lot of Infinity, Infinity Blades armor designs and stuff. Isn't that game called Vanquish? Is this not what this is? I don't know. It looks. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? That free to play game? Yes. Uh, it's Godfall. Godfall. Okay. <laughs> Sequel to Vanquish. <laughs> I might as well be. Yeah, that gets an astounding. Yeah, okay. It's but it's made cool, by Gearbox, cool which explains why it's very bright and colorful and stuff. And I appreciate that. I don't yes. want more dull browns and earth tone stuff, which even though that's all of what I wear on my body, I don't want yeah. that in my video games. Well, because it looks great on you, but you're saying that you. Oh, they're back. Yeah. Yeah, they're right. Hyperlight like, Drifter is like my fourth favorite game of all time. Oh yeah. shit, we got numbers, we got rankings. Uh, should have mentioned that last one was six, this is seven. Gotcha. So, what's funny is that the reason why I'm telling you the numbers each time is uh -huh. because surprisingly it is rather high. We are now getting to seven games so far that I, as a guy who doesn't really care for most common games, so yeah. like your racing games, your sports the conventional games, conventional stuff. Shooting yeah. games. Are you calling everybody else basic? And Whoa. No, I'm saying <laughs> that that not. is a different kind of gamer, and it's okay, but it is, that even I am excited for stuff. So yeah. that's, a, that's a big deal. Here on Tim's channel, we love game. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite game. I'm, I'm somebody that pretty much can enjoy most games, except for maybe mm -hmm. shooters. Shooters, I get bored I try. extremely fast. But. Me too, but I like new systems. Like, mm -hmm. I think we both kind of enjoy Titanfall. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've played a lot of sports games and stuff, it's just yeah. that they don't change often enough for me, you know? Like, yeah. I like progression and different mechanics, and yeah. the fact that sequels to actual games that aren't based off of real-world physics can actually usually iterate and change stuff in a sequel. So I wonder if this is, like, in the Hyperlight Drifter universe? universe? It's gotta be. Maybe? It's gotta be. Looks like it. Kind of like how uh, Risk of Rain 1 was a 2D game and then Risk of Rain 2 is now a 3D game. Or Ukulele was a 3D game and then Ukulele, the next one, was the 2D game. 2D game. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodstain the demo one. was 2D, Bloodstain the real game was not. Oh. Sniper Elite 7! We're shooting nope. people no. again! I'm, not oh. quite. I'm excited for oh. this game, even though I have yet to finish either of the first two. Here yeah, this oh, okay. is, I mean, number 8. New Hitman game? Yes. I need to, I I need to finish this. All your heart. Sorry, one last I thing mean, about sports games, because we were uh -huh. that. Um, the worst thing the with the new games is when you can't tell if it's a real game or if it's, like, a, a video game, and th then his leg goes through the ground, and you're like, whoa, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. I don't know what I'm looking at yet. See, that's what I'm scared of. That's that's the fear of the future. Oh, I thought you meant bang bangs in a forest. Because this is that creepy as well. shit. That is well, yeah. And now, is that Slenderman? Nah, it's fucking Hitman. You find yourself alone. I mean... I would man? I would play a game where you're a target of oh. of Agent 47 in a forest and you gotta survive. Or yeah. anywhere, oh, just like the reverse gameplay. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Is that what this is? No. Is this is just gonna be more more Hitman? But they nailed the, the formula a few years back, good. so just keep doing it. Good, good. Yeah, totally. Why I mean, Hitman not? 2 yeah. was great from all reports. Yes. That's what I've heard. I mean, but the ability I, to whip Merce, a suitcase and have it go around a corner and hit somebody in the back of the head is brilliant. In That's what I, shit. I love Agent that they just, yeah. Is back they they could have yeah. fixed that, but just, no. Professional contract yeah. in fuck it. It's fun. Career. Who cares? <laughs> you can slap somebody with a fish. Why would we care about a suitcase? For the World of Assassination trilogy. 10 out of 10. Like if you have a can so of beans. To to Did he say Assassination Trilogy? Yes. Or, yeah. I mean, the uh, these most recent fun. 1, 2, and 3 Hitmans kind of make up their own. Oh, okay, okay. I thought he was talking about an Assassin's Creed or something, and I was like, no. what is happening? No. <laughs> what no. am I watching they already, right they already revealed Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> but now they're, they're privately owned. They could say, hey, Ubisoft. Yeah, yeah no great. kidding. Want to make Agent 47 a, a Templar or, or kill some Templars? They should that do that. Yeah. Dope. Ah, climbing up that I would say Mirror's Edge, but I see no red. Like, there's there's a world in which Assassin's Creed finally gets to the present day, and it's just basically a Hitman game. Oh. Yeah. No, I mean, and that's something that they're getting relatively close to being able to do, because literally they just gave the present person, Layla, like, the thing she needs to be an assassin. It's like fucking, oh my god, just get there already. Just get there already. Just get there yeah. already. <laughs> Quit talking. Just let me kill things in the future. It's been quintuple 
quadruple thousand billion games. Just get there already. God damn it. Guys, guys, press the any key. Uh, no, oh. if I press it, I got an Xbox game bar. It'll pop up. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's the worst. Uh. Wait, this isn't Xbox? <laughs> oh, hey! No, because this isn't Minions. This is PlayStation <laughs> Minions. I really hey. need to play this VR game on PS4. Have you played the original? Or like a demo disc or anything? No. Because they're adorable. I love these little astrobots or whatever they're called. It's just, it's a little weird because you're basically, uh, imagine you're playing a board game and you're having fun with it and you're just standing over yeah. top of it the whole time. That's what this feels Aren't like. some of the puzzles like, oh, change your position so you can see the solution kind of? Oh, there's yeah, the yeah. button you need to hit. Like, Yeah, like uh, Captain Toad, Treasure, whatever. Oh, yeah, tracker. yeah, yeah. Like that kind of thing, but you run headfirst into your TV because you're wearing a <laughs> robot head. Goddamn. <laughs> If only they would make a VR headset that gave you the same face front as one of those little robots. Oh, that'd be so cute. Right. The Valve Index has that, like, expansion slot for, like, LED displays. It does. And I, I hope that somebody does that at some point. I, haven't actually I don't know what it would be useful years for. Ago, I, when there was, like, an app for your phone was it? that you could text and have the camera open at the same time so you weren't, like, walking into traffic. Um, Do you remember that? The, uh, no. I don't think anyone used it, but it was a craze for a while. Do you, do you guys? No. Wasn't this? Um, wasn't this Kickstarter a while? I'm not ago? sure. I, I it, this does not look familiar to me at all. Yeah, yeah, it was. But it looks awesome. Like I, I love, know it looks adorable. It looks like Scott Pilgrim. I appreciate how many stylized games there are in this. I like me it too. when yeah. things look like construction paper. Yes, yeah. I'm very it reminds me of something I could make, <laughs> but and I won't. Th this kind of heavy stylization really makes games last longer. I agree with that for sure. Oh. Because if you, if you, the more realistic you try and get, the more that technology is going to age. But if you actually go for kind of an oh, off so the cute. wall, something weird, something wacky, that is much more likely to age well. I agree. Jeez. The juxtaposition is killing me. I know, me. <laughs> it's so good. The, the guy with the sword kind of reminds me of the totally accurate battle simulator vibe. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, gross. Oh, he did a duke. They made a poop joke in the middle of a Sony press conference. Did you guys know in Animal Crossing, if you sit on the toilet, if you're full, like if you ate a fruit, you'll do a little poo? Wait, is that for real? Yeah. Only that's, certain toilets, though. That's not for real, is it? No, I'm totally serious. <laughs> I did it this morning. Wow. Yeah. Holy oh poop. my god, I love these designs. I know, right? This looks great. The main and it does look very the... paper crafted. Yes, yeah. The main character is giving me that guy from, um, what's that Little show? Devil Legend Inside. of Korra? Yeah, this was Kickstarter back in 2015. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be um, on Steam and maybe Wii U also. What's up, everyone? Hmm. I'm Zion Williamson of New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. I I, now, I'm pretty I'm sure th ready. this guy was just recording on his laptop camera. Probably. What are you talking about? That looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's actually another thing <laughs> we haven't thought of. Maybe their their cameras are just so wildly different that they put this kind of weird filter over it R to mm -hmm. make them all look similar. It's not a console reveal unless you have a sweaty man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> True. Oh, sweaty God. man in ultra 4K <laughs> Blu-ray. Sweaty men and cars. SSD That's how you show off your oh, new but console. It's, but it's pre-alpha. It's not going to look like this in the final revision. It's going to oh, be sweatier. Yeah. Sweatier. <laughs> sweatier. More sweatier. And also a little bit of extra stubble because it's been a while since we've seen him. <laughs> and, Bam. And it's, Eat your heart out, Jordan. Christ. They're going to patch this game so it only takes place in that one arena in Miami. Yeah. Because that's how they're going to play this next season. <laughs> <laughs> I do like his shoes, themselves. though. Shoes Whoa. Dope. Did he break glass? Or I did mean, he just unscrew just, I mean, that and put it on the ground? That's 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 the flex. Is to Yes, he, he so unscrewed hard. it and put it on the ground. He, he <laughs> says, this cord is mine now. I'm going to dismantle it. That's what happens. <laughs> just leave it at that, right. Murph. Don't tell him any different. Right. I mean, This is for the gram. When they, Let him live his life. When they gave all the basketball players those little roby uh, cordless drills, hmm. it changed the game entirely. 
Exactly. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> My net now. That's why they call it running drills. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This. Okay, so this is number like eight I, or nine, I think. Nine at this point. Okay. It's a strawberry bug. It's, Tim, it's how am Pokemon. I supposed to know if they're bad or not? If you say you like everything, well, I it's guess your taste is pretty bad. It's 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 a strawberry with Nico wafers for eyes. Oh my God, I love it. Okay. Entirely unique to this island. this one's lively. No, 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 no. Your voice doesn't come out of you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yep. The Australian accent makes me think he's gonna she, get, he or she's gonna get stung and yeah. Heart. <laughs> so oh. I'm pretty sure I recognize this voice. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw The Good Place. Oh, I'll uh, do that. Is that. Oh, uh, I have not, Tim. It's a great show. No, uh, I think it's the girl that's in the later seasons that's like in the psychology with them. Um, oh, yeah. Um, black girl from is Australia. This a McDonald's She's a very good game? character. I, don't, I unfortunately don't remember her name. The amazing actress does a great job, but that's an apple crab. That's a Do these not look snail. like the fucking fry guys from McDonald's? But yeah, I'm pretty sure that she is the voice of that character because that sounds just like her. Uh, and she had a great voice for it, too. Kirby Howell Baptiste. Yes. My I will verify if I can. Open. Come join me I'm probably wrong and probably just lumped all <laughs> black Australians together, but here we are. That's, that's <laughs> just where we are today. And I apologize. <laughs> He's got hot dog hands. <laughs> And a he cinnamon does. roll snail hat. And hot dog ears. Bugs. Yeah, so it looks like included. when you eat the bugs, the snacks become <sighs> part of you. Fuck. But, that but, was terrifying. But what happens if you eat somebody's strawberry arm? Do uh -huh. do you get a strawberry? I don't like this. You, you get a strawberry arm on your <gasps> arm. Oh, God. Oh, that was scarier than a creeper. So all is not well in the bug snacks world. No, it's not. I'm gonna need uh, three games and a movie <laughs> to explain that. So how three wrong was I, Murph? Preferably. What? How wrong was I? Um, there's no verification on anybody in that game. It's got an IMDb oh, damn. listing, but no, no credits. Yet. Okay, fair enough. It does sound like her though. She oh shit! She does have a very distinct cadence in her speech. Cadence, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, we're now going into the Xbox review. Nope. Thank you for being Shoo. for this very special event. I love Shoe. Hello, but Shoe. Hey, I love you. The end of the show. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure that I I called him Kaz on Twitter earlier today. Nice. Yeah, Kaz is retired. Yeah, definitely forgot that. Because I wasn't paying attention. I was only looking at this out of the corner of my eye, oh, and I was like, two, wait, he's got something very two. special. Kaz, give me something <laughs> good. And then guess what? Wasn't him. This one. <laughs> This game was made. They they did this for you, Dylan. Oh, this is oh, number great. ten. This okay, is number good. ten, and we're just gonna let Dylan enjoy this and sit Listen, back and be quiet. Kaz, better not fail me, okay? <laughs> oh, it won't. I don't even know if you. Hmm. Never mind. Oh, just did it. Yeah, just just. This is it. Feel free to throw out any guesses. Uh. Or don't. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Shit! 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 Is this Kingdom <laughs> Hearts 4? <laughs> yes. You nailed it. The music, the music, the music. Oh my god, the music. The Kingdom Hearts does have some... some oh, some... guys. Oh, guys. Yeah. I'm curled up in a ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh god. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, my god. This game will destroy... Oh, my... Oh, my god. Everything you hold dear. Oh, Jesus Just go Christ. ahead in fetal position now. I'm lit. I've condensed myself so small. One of you guys could sneak me into your your home country. Oh, this makes me excited. I cummed. <laughs> now, what's funny is we actually know someone who works on this game. Is this? This is fucking. Di this is Dibuzo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One of the former animators over at Rooster Teeth uh, actually worked on this game. Really? Mm -hmm. On the original or the remake? If I no, on this particular oh. game. Okay. On so Demon this is, Souls. So this is Demon Souls Remaster. Remake. Remake. Re what, I don't know what those words mean anymore, so, <laughs> so we'll talk about it later. It <laughs> seems. Uh, from what I understand, is are one for one. Um, it's like a remake, one to one. But like it's oh. it's generally like remember the Shadow of the Colossus remake, like where they remade it from the ground up. In a That's the thing, and same with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. 
They had redid everything. They said they lost all the assets or whatever. Right. So or like Resident. Well, see, and I would consider Resident Evil Two a remake, not a remaster. Yes, but I agree Resident with that. Resident Evil One is a remaster, not a remake. But because you remade everything, you didn't remaster everything. But I, I would, I would say a remaster is like taking your existing assets and. God damn it! I'm getting sweaty. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but basically, they did what. From what I understand, they did what they did with uh, Shadow of the Colossus, where oh. they, like, oh, this is a new engine, but we made it play exactly the same. Uh, is this Bioshock? Um, it is an immersive sim. And oh, in, great. <laughs> so Oh, great. <laughs> Did you see that game, slide? This game immediately reminded me of Dishonored. And you'll yes. see you'll see very much why in just well, a minute. We happy I think Dishonored it's Arcane few. Studios, did it not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we happy Dishonored Few. That's a great way of putting uh, it. Oh, we happy few. I do know what that is. Like the bright colored dystopian yeah. world of that mixed with some of the fighting mechanics Ooh, of Dishonored. Oh, Oh. And the reason why it feels that way is because this is, in fact, an arcane game. Well, We Happy Few, wasn't that like Damn. they were really in like a horrible world? Yes. Like, yeah. You're taking uh, so the this drug is that game without the drugs. To, yeah. to make the world seem bright and happy, and it desperately was not. But yeah, this is. Looks like it's set in the Dishonored universe because you're in Blackwater. Okay. Um, and this is the game that they teased at E3 last year, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Assassin versus Assassin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm fuzzy on it. Is it where... Is this like asynchronous like PvP? I don't believe so. It, it looks I, so like it. It looks like you are playing as this gentleman, and then there is an antagonist who is coming to kill you at all times. Great. Mm, but... So this is that Hitman game we were talking about. But we're we're seeing where you play as the we're victim. seeing her perspective right now. I believe. I don't think so. Because he's wearing a, a black jacket. Because she hasn't said anything yet. Okay. Who's she? I could I could be very well wrong about that. You could play both sides. Like, but I I'm pretty sure that at least this game and they may be two different games. Playing both sides is always an option. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this is the other side. You thought it was going to be easy. And, you know, here's the thing. You were able to play as both Corvo Atano and as, um, oh, God damn it, I forget her, her, her name. Elizabeth? Yeah, thank you. Is that her name? name <laughs> in the world. I think that's Bioshock. I, I don't care. I'm going to call her Elizabeth. I don't care. Okay. I, I played as her because Corvo seemed boring. Deathloop. But, that's the name of the game. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, you you definitely had two different storylines. So I could right. see playing the game one way and then playing the game yeah, that, another way. That's her. That she's that's her her gloves and and coat. Yeah. Wait, so I, way. I mean, you know, we'll see because it's the game premise sets it up as the guy keeps dying until he's able to break this death loop. But perhaps you playing as the opposite character try and keep this guy in the death loop and then you figure something out for yourself as an alternate storyline. I don't know. Damn. Or, so it could be a single player game the whole way through. You just got two different single player games. Like or if it's like a journey like, like multiplayer you. where you're just randomly put in the same world as... Yeah, there you go. As, That'd be sick. Okay, well that looks fucking other. awesome. It, yeah, it, the, the pre-rendered trailer last year was really great. I yeah. can't remember it. Now I know what, it, so what the it, game actually is. I thought it was going to be yeah, third person. Exactly. Mm -hmm. but most good games are. No. Uh. <laughs> Say that to Half Life, Alex. Is this is this Kingdom Hearts? That, that, yes. That game that nobody's story in Kingdom Hearts will ever come to a close. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sora's story has come to a close, but now there's a new book. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, don't worry. This looks so bright and colorful and happy, just right. like all of Kingdom Hearts. You're not going. You are not going to be able to guess else. what this is, Dylan. You won't. I'm not. Nope. I'm not gonna guess. No. Is it, I don't think it'll be. Um, don't try. Just wait. What enjoy. are they saying? Let me turn it up. Let just enjoy. Just, you. You always want me to enjoy things, Tim. It's just the horror stuff. I mean. Is it Silent Hill? No. That 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 no. That thing's dead. Everybody knows. Oh that. yeah, that's true. That's right. True. And, until somebody offers Konami enough money for their franchises. It's just a local. Those games will never happen again. Is this a Resident Evil? Are they doing another one already? I guess seven was a while ago. It was, wasn't it? God, I yeah. wish. I can't wait for eight. That's gonna be so good when they finally make it. Mm -hmm. After yeah. after oh, how awesome th the three remake was. God. Also, did he just get shot and not care? I think so. I'm he's pretty firing sure that gun that actually went off. You don't fire blanks, Tim. Jeez. Duh. 
<gasps> oh! Oh, it's until dawn. His hands and my feet. Oh! I... I had no idea what this was. Until... I still I, don't Blair know. Witch, part seven. You see some imagery yeah. and you're like, oh... Just like jaw wide open. Looking down a shotgun, shooting bunch of zombies. What's it shooting gonna be? Wendigos. Who knows that's a puzzle? Guy in a scarf and a dead horse on the ground. Tim, you're so good at What's this. What's it gonna be? Will you buy What's it at a high be? price? <laughs> I do like the very fancy looking <laughs> mansion. That's that's pretty. Uh, yeah, it's, it's totally giving me Resident Evil vibes. I wonder. Oh. Resident Evil doesn't have. Vamp Whoa. Vampires it's a and Sasquatch. Jesus. It's a Sassum Squatch. Is it Castle? That was a, that was a straight up lichen. Like that? Like a oh yeah, Castle Vig. Did I just say Castle Hey Dylan. Hey Dylan. Hey Dylan. Yeah, it's called Village. No. <laughs> what? It's Resident Evil. Oh 8. my God! <laughs> Chris? Shh, shh. Sorry. You're. So you're playing as Ethan from Seven. Uh huh. Oh, oh, fuck. And Chris Redfield just murdered a man. And Chris Redfield got fucking Austin St. John, the original Power Rangers, got fed. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, but that's number 11. Do you? Have, wow! No, it's number 8, stupid. Was there a set? Shut up, fuck you. <laughs> there was a Chris Redfield DLC for 7, right? Yes. Did you, uh, did you play you as him? play as him. It's okay. not really all that great. No, because um, Chris Redfield. But you do play as him kind of escaping the little facility that he's in, I think. I think. Please, Tim, don't tell me their newest iteration chronologically is uh, bad. No, 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 that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Is this uh, Moonbase Alpha 2? Yes. About time. I'm just going to keep saying right. yes every time you ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, the, okay, so not a, the Not a Hero DLC has you play as Chris Redfield uh, as you're trying to apprehend Lucas, the, the brother. Of oh, the Baker okay. family? I, I played the beginning, so I think I know who that is. Yeah, uh, and you go throughout this trapped facility that's basically a three-part dungeon, and then you find him, and you beat oh, him. Oh, another kitty! And then he goes oh, back I can to see Umbrella. his insides. Is it, I know. Is it, uh... It's the is it like... of the digital cat. Yeah. <laughs> I want to... Well. Also, this, this looked immediately like... Uh, Death Stranding Anthem. sequel already. Right, yeah. Oh, I, I was I gonna thought, say Anthem. Oh, th that very much looks like something Kojima would design for... Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, a thousand yeah, percent. Like, all of this looks straight out of Kojima. A hundred thousand percent. The, the, the moon's a screen. Whoa. It's broken through by satellites. But that little girl does not look good enough for a Kojima trailer. He would, True, I don't no. think he would let that... He would... That would not... Whoa. Remember the I was gonna say that wouldn't be good enough for him. Also, the little girl is your BB because she helped him make that little net bomb thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Like yeah. Also, it didn't work very well. That that that, gave, that reminded me of the bouncer where your the your girlfriend, or well, Sion's girlfriend, oh, oh, oh. turns out to be a, an android. Yeah. Uh, which can control satellites. And now we're on the moon. How are you breathing? She's a robot. Oh, of course she's a robot. I knew that from the robot things she did. She did? That looks dope. Capcom. Yeah, that, that looks, looks good. dope. So it'll come out in January because all good Capcom games come out in January. Yes. Sweet. So then they can't win Game of the Year. Yes. That's actually Dragon's Lettuce. Dogma 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so the last time Ethan sees Chris is when e Chris actually helps him escape from the house at the end of the main game. Yes. Oh, shit. Uh, and then I only know that because I watched the speedrun. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit after that is when the Not a Hero DLC takes place as Chris goes back to try and get Lucas. Because oh, okay. Lucas escapes in the main game. I thought you killed him Bastard. with the injection. Uh, mm. perished. That's why you couldn't save both the uh, Zoe and uh, their great cities. 
Then right. must Murphy. Be, okay, never mind. Must be Mur before. Are you are you fucking spoiling Resident Evil? Well, Thunder? but so so does Chris. Chris kills Lucas. Whoa. Huh. Guys, I was gonna play it tonight. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The answer to that question. It says right here, hey, Chris manages to corner and shoot Lucas, which triggers a mutation in his body. Chris battles and eventually kills the mutated Lucas and stops him from transferring all the data on Evelyn to an unknown party. So it yeah. sounds like it's after the Evelyn stuff, oh, by the which way. is the main game. Oh, also, shit. Horizon. She's back. I'm completely skipping over 12 to talk about this shit. So <laughs> this is the one that got me the most hype. Really? Horizon Zero Dawn was my favorite PS4 game. That was a great game. It That's was the one that made me happy to own that console. And you'll be able and to play so it on PC soon. I, I desperately hope so. I absolutely will. I guarantee you it's going to be gorgeous. I think I powered through it too quickly. I think I should have really stopped to enjoy it a bit more. That, you know, that's the open world danger, isn't it? Yeah, seriously. So I think a PC uh, replay would be a good idea. Comes, comes out, look at that. The PC version comes out wow. sometime in the summer. No depth. Yay! So. It's so funny. I had a friend of mine say, say earlier, I'm a very simple lesbian. When I hear Ashley Birch's <laughs> name, I buy the game. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? I can 100% get behind that shit. Yep. I love Ashley Birch and everything she does, and this She's game great. is no different. Like, the, the acting in this game is superb to start with. And then on top like, of that, and it's an incredible game, the technology is awesome. The original, the you mean, right? Super rich and dense and cool to, like, yeah. get involved in. Yeah. I mean, this Matt, is and saw, this looks like more. You saw what they pulled off on a PS4 with their engine. Yeah. What are they yeah, going to do with this new SSD technology? And, and, and it looks like she's in America this time. Like we're was that not San Francisco we saw. Yeah, that, that was totally the Golden Gate Bridge right there. Oh, I and know this guy. Some other I monuments him. that we've seen along the way. So it's unclear where the first game kind of takes place. I think I could be wrong about that, but this one looks like she's heading westward to America. Yeah, the first one I don't think it stood out enough for me to notice. But same. I don't. And I I don't know that it was intentionally put in a place. So I, I, Zero Dawn took place west. in Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. Oh. And small okay, part well, of Montana. Go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yes. So then this would be south and west. And also there's other things down Whoa. there. So she, She's got to go I'm down. destroy the where the robot cyber, cyber animal apocalypse started. San Francisco, probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Pro most likely. It's the zoo. So and did you guys? I, I, I forget. I know you may have just said it a second ago whether you've actually played Horizon Zero Dawn or not. I, I did for a while. I, I powered through it too fast. I was saying. Did you understand it? Uh, no. Because the 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 reveal in that game is superb. Yes. That's my favorite question. Is when people ask, "Did I understand it?" <laughs> the disappointment that I can serve to them. Yeah. Like you really should go back and play that game if you do not. Get right. it. It's a slow. Because this, it's a slow burn at the start, and yeah. the, the gameplay ends up, like with all the abilities you get. It eventually becomes very, very robust. Like, really mm -hmm. very feels yeah. very much like uh, Breath, Breath of the Wild when, once you finally yeah. get everything. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, but then yeah, the story the becomes they are, like, no legitimately they are. good. I, yeah, I remember some weird twist at the end. I just don't remember what it is at this point. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not even going to tell you because I recommend Good. going back and playing it at this point because it will probably still wow you just as much as it did. Why didn't originally. Resident Evil 7 get that love? You read off the whole Wikipedia plot. <laughs> Say what? You read off the spoiler section for Resident Evil 7. <laughs> oh. Horizon Zero Dawn gets a pass. The story of a Resident Evil game doesn't matter. It really I genuinely like doesn't. Fuck you. But Horizon Zero Dawn is kind of a singular story. Like, that's yes, true. it's an open world game, and that's done a lot, yeah. but it's actually a pretty decent open world game where the open world doesn't take you out of the main story. You kind of oh. still get to remember what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Okay. Um, here's, and here's the big moment. Whoa. So and, Metal <laughs> at balls. this point, I was like, is the PS4 just a weird amorphous blob of nano? It, it's remember Floam? It's a monolith, is it not? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Floam. <laughs> holy shit. It's carbon nano bloom. It's its own speaker system. Oh my god. You ever, do you know what it feels like to chew five gum? <laughs> <laughs> I want to jump in that ball pit so bad. Oh, An so LED do I. ball pit. Oh my god. Uh, I just had the best idea. I'm definitely seeing it on the wall and not necessarily on the floor. Yeah. 
on See, the I, level, but yes. I don't, I still don't know what this is supposed uh, to be. Well, you know in the Bible when Moses parted the blue metal ball, see? I made this, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. 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 But when, would you, would you, would you not have a rave in a pit of black balls that had LEDs in it that glowed and undulated like that? You Come think I'd fucking be French here if I could go do that, Tim? <laughs> okay. In like a year and a half from now. Where, yeah, how yeah, we'll awesome that. would that be? Yeah, it'd be fucking lit. Well, there Whoa. we are. That's the console. It looks like Bloodboard. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it looks you like know, the hat from Bloodboard. Somebody mentioned it looks like uh, a Wi-Fi router. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Or a popped collar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I made the observation that this is clearly not meant for under the desk anymore. No, but they, no. It's, they do have a, a side piece. like of it on a, on its side. That, oh yeah, the Good. base. I like that you can put the base the you see there can like come off and. and but just from the aesthetic design, it's not a box anymore. It's not is a thing that's supposed that to be thing? hidden away, sight unseen. This is supposed to be aesthetically looking nice, so yeah. that it, when it sits out prominently, it yeah. doesn't stick out like a sore box thumb. And you probably wouldn't care if you could hide your Xbox Series X, but you can't unless you cut a hole in the wall and mount it like a. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you got to get a crane and open up an extra wide door. Speaking of walls, is that not like the ceiling popcorn texture? It is. Right. And okay, I think great. they probably did that for acoustic reasons. Really? Yeah. See, yeah. I would figure when you're manufacturing stuff like that, it's Whoa. easier to, to make it with ridges rather than to make it perfectly smooth. But I don't know. Oh, I sorry. I didn't realize I was looking at a, a CD tray. I was like, oh, yeah. what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally, it's not the options button anymore. It's the hamburger button. Because it actually comes with two controllers. Ooh. Finally. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I just broke, like a few months ago, broke my first PlayStation 4 controller. I have a theory that the shape of it was more of a function. And then they just yeah. had to make it like we hope you've they just had to go that way, and they went all the way in because you've seen them they're, yeah. they're like oh the it, the cooling fans are the big thing for this like oh no this is gonna the cool the vent holes are massive and they are prominent yeah. we want we this is like is gonna cool really well and be really quiet so and this is how we do it by making it this weird shit yeah. by adding and then some you just fucking lean Digimon the armor to it unique benefits crazy moving from one generation. And th this no, is what's crazy is the fact that this is a computer-generated person. <laughs> Stop. Uh, and this is Sony's. You defeat this is Sony's whole pitch is like, hey, we don't backwards compatibility. That's cool, I guess. We really just want to make this console make sense. Like, the reason it exists, we want it to like to be a big enough step, and which is kind of counter to to Xbox's current messaging is like, yeah. Oh no, if you buy it now, buy you'll, you'll get the the Xbox Series X version, which means. Everything developed for the Xbox Series X will probably be diminished because they have to to oh, to God. fit this weird like it's gonna be on PC, probably Xbox One for a while, and then Series X. Yeah, it's a it's that weird like uh, bridge between generations. Yeah, it's the Twilight Princess problem. Right, and oh, uh, and it's just the, and Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and Breath of the Wild, absolutely. Yeah. And meanwhile, Sony's just like saying no. <laughs> Our game, no, this, this like, there's, there's third-party games that are going to be on PC on here, obviously, but, uh -huh. but like, Clank and Ratchet and Clank and uh, uh, Spider-Man. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, I can't wait to play Spider-Man with the media remote. When those games come out, you will, it will probably be apparent that oh no, these games won't work anywhere else. Yeah, and I want like, that. I'm guessing especially Spider-Man because I mean, really, let's face it, the technology behind that new Spider-Man game was unparalleled before that. Mm -hmm. And so Harding I imagine the if they now amazing. have this new hardware to be able to pump that up, it's going to be doubly so, triply so. Mm -hmm. Just the way that everything rendered in in that game when you would zoom in on it in like a photo mode. Oh my god. No. Yeah. Crazy. Absolutely gorgeous. And so now you've got even more horsepower to make an open world like that really live. Uh, and I look forward to de game designers that actually have the ability to make a world like that really live. Mm -hmm. You know. And then, or you know, just of another fucking Katamari game. Like <laughs> I'm cool with just rolling shit up. Uh yeah. That's yeah. fine too. Yeah, please. Give me the physics. Uh, yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, please. Uh, imagine a Katamari game with the horsepower we have now. Oh like if you actually God. leveraged it. I need it. <laughs> I need it. 
I need it. Oh. We could literally build a planet. I need it. And put it in space. Yeah. So. And then that would be a no man's sky. The planet. <laughs> Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's it. We done did it. Good we job, did boys. it. We made it. We made it all the I way to the good. end. So, uh, wrap it up here. I guess, Murph, for the edit, you can go and put up, like, the opening logo that's just kind of glowing or whatever here. So that Yeah, or that, that, got, that pulsating uh, uh, PlayStation symbols. Thing. I'll, yeah. I'll loop it or something. And while we Lovely give some things. final thoughts here, um, yes. would you care to start? Me? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, let me. As, what were some of your favorites? Of As the gamer boy, who plays Dang. all the games and never finishes them, <laughs> I will. That was my favorite Nintendo console, <laughs> the Gamer Boy. <laughs> yeah. I look forward to getting sixty percent through most of these games I saw today. Sixty through sixty percent through twenty percent of these games. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> there, it's a lot of games, and it's a lot of games that look like they will take a while to complete. You know, there's. There weren't really a whole lot of short experience games in there that well, I hopefully, saw. Well, hopefully Grand Theft Auto V comes out soon, because I'm really <laughs> hankering for that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Spider-Man, obviously, like, super excited about that. Ratchet & Clank looks awesome. All the new IPs, of course, they look cool, but we're so jaded at this point. We're just like, okay, prove it first, and then I'll buy it. God, Murph, you really sound like Dylon there for a second. That's a great impression. <laughs> yeah. Well. That's crazy. Did you have any other, anything else, Murph? I just... Yeah, that my the Miles Morales game that is that yeah this is that a launch title? I for oh, yeah I I saw Holiday this year. Yes. Okay. Uh, ho- yeah, Holiday season. Well, I'm, I, and the, so the thing that I saw on there is I did not see a release date nor a price for that console. No, and I think they're holding that off till that that's their next like counter punch. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I agree with that. Um, or l- more details on, on like that 3D camera and mm-hmm. like I was expecting and, and whether or not those human beings were fake or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting. Or they're just waiting until the stimulus checks like run out. Uh, so <laughs> next they're gonna say it there. next week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fuck. Um, also, I was expecting to see a God of War game. Cause yeah, because the first shot was God of War. So, but also but- in those. In those opening chords of Demon Souls, that's what I thought it was. That's what I, I did too. Uh, that, that that dead body hanging is like, oh, that's that's from a, a BS like Titans. Yeah, um, totally. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> you saw it and thought no. Kratos done did that. But uh, but that God of War 2018 was in 2018 April, so we're mm-hmm. two years. It'd be about time for them to say, oh, by the way, next it's next year coming. or so. It, but uh, although it's possible that they could. J- that regular traditional presentations are broken now. Like, and between Nintendo and COVID-19, it's kind of killed your traditional right. and we, direct uh, uh, yeah. presentation. We only Why would you put the variables in there to have something go wrong? And we, and we only really it's saw, fine. like, Spider-Man, like, not a ton of first-party games. There were there's some third-party, like Ghostwire Digital, that's uh, uh, Tango... What's the name of that studio? Fuck. Um, I'm not one? sure. Ghostwire Tokyo? Yeah, that's uh, Shinji Mikami Studio. Tango Works? Uh, fuck, I don't remember. I think it's Tango Works or something like that. That they're they're not they're not even third party. Uh, Tango party. Game Works. Yes. Yeah. So. Like, and most of those alternate graphics games that we talked about. Right, and Annapur- the Annapurna games are definitely not exclusive. Yeah. Um, that Super Brothers. And if you're in a cat robot Skulls? game. You think Demon Souls will stay exclusive? Yes, uh, yeah. I Sony for a while. Sony owns Demon Souls. Yeah, well, just like just like Bloodborne, Bloodborne they, not, they own it. Is, like, but is oh, Bloodborne really? not coming out on PC soon? I thought I've been seeing a million articles about it. Uh, it. But how long has it been since Bloodborne has released? Oh, fucking million years. So that was, <laughs> that's long. You would. That was what 2015, because yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, because then you would wait till 2027, and you'll see Darts. Uh, excuse me. Demon Demons. Souls on PC. Yeah, so it's Demon Born. Yeah, I can't wait. And maybe Rises four years. Dawn. Let's say that. Let's say that Sony's going to be generous and do it in four years instead of five. Because the PC uh, master race has been so vocal. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Because they want to show how much they care for the PC culture. Money, money, money. 
That's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Spread it out. No. Let people money, money, it. money is releasing GTA 5 for the 15th time. If, if, Hor <laughs> if Horizon Zero Dawn sells like gangbusters on Steam, you know, th True. these, these, this last generation True. of games that Sony owns, there's a bunch of them that will go, oh. Final Fantasy I, 15 I, did very well. Yeah. I want money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Hitman games did really well when they were brought, were yep. brought over. There have been a lot of PlayStation normally exclusive titles that have been brought over to Steam recently that have done very well because people are champing at the bit for exactly that. A lot of these experiences in true 4K60, you know, the, the power yes. that a PC has that unfortunately as powerful as these new consoles can do is still unreachable. Mm -hmm. It just is. Yeah. Yeah, hell, it's barely reachable for a PC. Like, you need $2,000 worth of equipment to make it happen. But it's there. Don't make me cry. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make you cry next time I actually get it. Great, but that's a completely different story. <laughs> Happy tears. Oh, baby. Some... But I, I tell you what. This, so, my, uh, or actually, no, I'll wait. Dylan, did you have anything you wanted to add? Um, aside from the games that I freaked out at, which... Rewind the video, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. Um, yeah, Ratchet and Clank, Spider Man, uh, Demon Souls, uh, even the Deathloop game looked awesome. But I just noticed Horizon Forbidden West uh, because West is where the sun sets. And that's what the picture is, I think, is the sun setting. And Zero Dawn is where the sun comes up. Do you guys, are you, are you picking that up? <laughs> sure. I just, I just noticed it and it makes me feel good. Symbolism's awesome. Yes. It all does oh. tie together very well with the fact that she is literally heading westward in oh. a forbidden area oh. that is San Francisco because you see the bridge. Yes. And a lot of other monuments, too. But uh, your theory sounds good, too. <laughs> it's just beautiful. I just like everything. everything you worked really saw. hard on it, Dylon. I want on you that to know theory? That I'm, I'm going to put it on the refrigerator. Five minutes ago, I went, ooh, I'll, I'll bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so my thank God. thank you so much. I appreciate it. But yeah, uh, so then I will say this. I I actually really appreciate how good this presentation was. Yeah. Um, and that in light of everything that is going on in the real world, the fact that this pulled off a genuine slice of actual positivity throughout the whole thing yeah, to, is after awesome. After delaying it already. To be something yeah. positive and trending on Twitter in June 2020 in, is a feat. <laughs> exactly. And the, and the fact of the matter is, the, they did this presentation in such a way that there wasn't going to be any risk of anything going wrong. There wasn't going to be a chance for a flute player to get made fun of for an inappropriate reason. You know, um, that, there wasn't a chance for a demo to go horribly, horribly wrong. The, and that flute was, was pretty soothing, though. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Amazing. And it was played by a guy who had genuinely studied it for several years under master's and proper training, and, and people just kind of blew it out of proportion, I think, anyway. But, uh, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a thing they did not want to risk with the current situation, and they pulled it off flawlessly, I think. Also, that was, like, two years ago, and they didn't have anything to show with those, like, three, four games. Agreed. So they, uh, they, so, they could so have just, just shown some trailers and talked. Uh, and I looked it up real quick. The guy's name that played the flute was Cornelius Boots. Mm. Your move. <laughs> Frankly, that's kind of exactly what they did today, except they did it in, with such a tight and metered measure that it worked. You know, like basically all you saw were trailers and a couple of gameplay slivers in some of those trailers. And then yep. the fake people telling you about all the rest of the stuff. And then the console reveal. That was right. it. Yeah. But it was great. It was very the tight. Was it was great. good, and I'm very happy that in, as you said, June 2020, we were finally able to get just something to look forward to on the other side. Something yeah. nice. because I was I, very I underwhelmed. That's very important right now. Yeah, I was very underwhelmed by uh, Microsoft's last showing. Yes. Which yes, and is, and the fact that there is no E3 like is kind of a disappointment because it's which, a distraction that is very needed. There was a, there's yeah. a chance that, that wasn't. Either it wasn't going to happen anyway. Oh, yeah. No, totally. There was no <laughs> chance it was going to happen even if protests hadn't broke out yeah. in, in the middle of one of the biggest pandemics that the globe has ever seen. Um, but there was also a risk of that not happening because of Nintendo's trend of taking over with their direct presentations and Sony not going last year. And it's, yeah. you know, on down the line. So with all of that working against these, you know, presentations being good, mm -hmm. 
here we are very, very wowed with a lot of this stuff. Like I said, I got up to double digits and I'm a very, I would say very cynical gamer. So I the fact, agree with that 100%. <laughs> the fact that I was able to get out of an hour and 10 minute presentation a dozen, a baker's dozen games that I'm very excited for is sensational. That's insane. Nothing short of sensational. I just had a thought. Hmm. Is, a new, is that New Horizon game going to be an adaptation of Journey to the West? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it might be Oregon Trail. Ooh. 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 Isn't that just Last of Us though? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is about all from us here today. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and paying attention to all of this. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, let us know down in the comments below. We there there may will be a chance to do this in the future with any other directs that come out, any other presentations like this. And uh, if you all enjoyed a little roundtable discussion to go with your your viewing party, then uh, let us know and we'll do it again. Where's yeah. Heavenly Sword 2? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Murph, you know where something can I just find realized? You? <laughs> um, oh, there you, go. you can find me on Twitter. That's about all I have. Uh, at Bobby yeah. L. Murphy. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And you, sir? I assume you're talking about me and not the ominous man standing behind you. <sighs> uh, you can find me at Dylan Show on various platforms. And also something I just realized is that we didn't really pay attention to what they were saying with their mouths. What if they were just babbling complete nonsense and we were just talking over it? Oh, <laughs> no. they, they were saying it was just like Laura Ipsum. Like, yeah, like yeah. I said, PR speak. None of them made. No. Yeah, none exactly. of them mattered What they were saying. No. Uh, no, I guess. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Promo babble, same uh. as Mystic Babble or Techno Babble. <laughs> Nobody cares. Or, or Animal Crossing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and you've been watching this on YouTube.com/slash Tim Leftwich. My name is Tim Leftwich. Same on Twitter and everywhere else. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.